Hello gamers, it's me, Lightspiller79, back to do a new video. In this video, I wanted to talk about my thoughts, my feelings, because it's my channel, <laughs> after selling my retro collection games, or my retro games, and consoles. Kind of wanted to tap in a little bit to that, uh, talk about my feelings about that. I honestly don't have any regrets on it only because it was um, it was great that Reggie Radical did the video um, talking about just selling off parts and I'm starting to see that more and more throughout the gaming community um, especially the retro gaming community doesn't mean that I'm not still interested in retro games uh, doesn't mean that I won't enjoy my Retron 5. I still have my Retron 5. I still have a couple multi carts. I still have some Japanese games. You know, I couldn't sell those and really wasn't looking to sell those either. But um, my thoughts all in all, um, I just got to a point where I don't know. I don't know where I see myself future wise, but I wanted to have. A more clear mind if you will so cleaning off the shelves of video games actually took the weight off allowed me to think a little bit clearer and enjoy my games a little bit more because I felt like I just had excess amount of games and you know I've gotten backlash here and there from a couple people here and there you know everybody has their event you know their opinions which they're entitled to and that's what my channel has always been about is to understand other people's thoughts ways ideals about something and it was a long drawn thought out process it wasn't something just instantaneous where I just said today I'm gonna sell all my games or all my retro stuff but there was a lot of mixed emotions that collaborated together. The idea that carts run their time. You know, eventually I'm going to start having issues with playing them. And then a lot of those carts, I had to deal with the reality of never touching them. I mean, I've had them sitting there for months, some for years, and some may have been only played when I first got them like five, six, seven years ago. Cause a lot of that stuff I got back in 2011, um, like my Super Nintendo, the Nintendo, um, I had got that stuff early on in the, uh, in 64. I think I got that, got my second or third one actually like 2012 from a good coworker. But you know, I, I, I just started looking more towards disc based games like PlayStation one and up, you know, or even maybe the Dreamcast. I just wasn't around for that, for the Dreamcast. So honestly, I wouldn't know the library very well. But all in all, I felt like it was a good decision. It was a great idea just to lift that weight. I find myself diving more into video games now. Um, a lot of weight's been taken off, you know, and, and I've been able to just relax and, and enjoy a couple games here and there. Um, I'm uh, about 40% through Nino Cooney 2. I'm probably about 80 to 90% through Detroit Become Human. It's a really good game. Um, it actually was not even on my list until the trilogy, the um, Quantic Dream trilogy came out. Did it become a game on my radar? But yeah, those are just like some of my quick thoughts. Um, about why I sold my retro stuff because I just felt like it was time. I feel like everything in my life has a time. I don't hold on to too many things for too long. I mean, I have tons of games to play. That will never be an issue. So tell me your thoughts. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe as always. Leave your comments below. I'm Lightsfielder79 and I'm out.